where a teenager is fighting for his life after a shooting on a SEPTA bus tonight. A wild scene that unfolded at 3rd and West Allegheny Avenue, where police were called just after 6 o'clock. Police sources telling us that teen was shot in the face. The victim is in extremely critical condition. Good evening, I'm Dawn Timoney. Police say one person is now in custody and they are still searching for another suspect. Our Steve Keeley is live in North Philadelphia with the very latest. Steve, what have you learned? Well, we're about three blocks from where the actual shooting happened because the bus driver, like they always do, sadly, because they constantly have to do, when there's a shooting into the bus, or in this case on the bus, floor it because the bus driver doesn't know what's going on and he's trying to get he and his passengers to safety. The bus makes it to where we are now. They just towed it away seven minutes ago. And here's what happens. One of the shots came from obviously outside the bus into the bus engine. We're showing you video now. Bullet holes from in the bus, because the shooting happened on the bus. Two people were fighting. One shoots the other one after the fighting. And you see from the bullet holes coming at, from in the bus to the outside, you can tell by the flap on the glass along a bullet hole that that came from outside. But the bullet hole going into the back of the bus came from the street. And maybe somebody was getting fired at from those bullets that went outside the bus and thought, hey, somebody from the bus is shooting me. I'm going to shoot back and fired a shot into the back of the bus. That goes through the hose for the fluid that's running the engine, and the engine ends up stopping because all the antifreeze leaked out. And that's where they were just cleaning up here. Here is Inspector Dario Pace explaining what happened as they got the call after six. The shooting occurred, we believe, inside the bus around 3rd or 4th in Allegheny. The bus driver, in an effort to protect the lives of the individuals uh, on the bus, and there were approximately 30 people on the bus at the time of the shooting, continued to drive a couple of blocks more. The shooter or shooters fled the bus and got into a silver-colored Hyundai. That's the information that we had. Police saw a, a, a silver Hyundai matching the description of the car that we believed was involved in the shooting and gave chase. It was already traveling at a high rate of speed. Eventually, that car uh, crashed into a parked car in the area of 5th and Greenwood, where the driver of the vehicle bailed out. We believe a second person also involved in this shooting uh, bailed in the area of 4th and Allegheny. We also believe that he was wearing a black puffy coat, which he discarded and continued running through a field. So we're looking for a second person involved in this. And so they're also looking for a reason why this even happened. And when I asked Dario, what do you think of this? You've seen so much. He said, it's harrowing. Dawn, this could have been so much worse. you got 30 people on the bus, and you've got all these people on the street. It's a beautiful Friday night once again, and shots are coming from in the bus to the outside on the street where there's so many people. And in fact, they think, but they don't know for sure, that somebody thought they were being shot at from that bus and then shot back at the bus. And luckily, that shot just went into the engine and not back into the bus to hit those passengers. So those passengers are going to have been hit by two different shooters. It's clear there are two different calibers involved because the bullet holes in the window are this big. The bullet hole looks like a 22 that went into the engine compartment. But boy, that little bullet did a lot of damage by hitting that antifreeze hose and stopping the bus. Fortunately, the bus went at least far enough to get away from the initial shooting scene two and a half blocks away. This was a hard one to figure out, Dawn, but the cops were quick on the scene, and at least they got one of the two people they were looking for. And the last thing, Dawn, there's a hero in all this because the shooting victim doesn't get rushed to Temple's emergency room by anybody with SEPTA, anybody with the Philly Fire Department medics, or even the cops doing a scoop and run. Somebody, somehow, this person shot in the face, ran off the bus, and then somebody driving by put them in their car and drove them in the emergency room to save their life. What a story. Wow, crazy scene, and that teenager is in extremely critical condition, that victim. Steve, thanks. We'll check back in with you later on in the evening. Thank you.